Welcome to BuildBox 3. In this video, we're going to go over one of the tools that you can find in the toolbar up above the scene editor when you're in a 3D world. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the camera view. The camera view tool is extremely useful, and it essentially just shows you exactly what you would see in your preview window. So I'll go ahead and I'll select my camera view tool, and you can see here that we can see the outlines of our camera view. I'm going to go ahead and open up the scene editor a little bit more so that we can see the full landscape view of what it's going to look like in our preview window. Now keep in mind, I have my camera selected over here, and I've set my camera offset the follow offset to negative six. So there's going to be a slight offset as soon as I turn on the preview. But I'm going to go ahead and preview the game and you can see essentially that it is the exact same as we see in our camera view tool. Now, if you go ahead and reposition this camera over here and push the character over here and we press play and we go ahead and see, we can see now that the camera position has changed quite dramatically. And what is really useful, and I'm going to go ahead and shrink down this camera view a little bit to a smaller size. And what is so nice is when you shift this camera view around in your scene, you can shift it real time in the preview window. So I can get it looking just the way I like. If I want to set it so that my character is a little bit more on the left side, I can. I can do that. And it's a really, really nice tool. And I recommend using it like crazy when you're trying to get your camera set up just right. And this is probably early on in development. You want to do this and get your camera set up just right so that your development further down is all based around set camera view. Now I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this preview and I'm going to go over here to options and I'm going to change the orientation of this game from landscape to portrait. And I'm going to press OK and you can see now that the camera view has changed. I'll go ahead and press play and I can still reposition it in portrait mode as well. I'll go ahead and exit out of preview and I'm going to switch it back to landscape now. One thing that you might want to know how to do is let's say you want to keep this outliner open and you want to be able to see your entire camera view. You can go ahead and shrink the window down a little bit and then that will resize your scene editor so that you can see the entire landscape camera view. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Keep an eye out for more tutorials at buildbox.com.